All right, so welcome everybody. Kristen, our team name is Inspiration Nation, so meet everybody on our team here. And this is um, Kristen, and we have invited her tonight. She is a um, three-star 2014 premier coach, and we've invited her tonight because she is rocking her business with a um, full-time job as a nurse, and she has kids, and she's amazing. And um, she is going to talk to us how about how she is doing that, and um, also give us some tips about recruiting. So take it away. All right. Thank you for that introduction. I don't, I honestly, I get so weirded out when people introduce me because I'm just a normal girl from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, and I'm so excited you guys to be on this call because I know, you know Kathleen's an amazing leader and uh, for some reason, everybody likes me because I work a job and I have this crazy life and I'm still building a business. And honestly, when I started, I was like, there has to be a coach out there who works and does this job and I just want to find them and I want to follow them. And really, there wasn't many. So um, she saw something that needed to be addressed in her team. And I'm so happy and honored that I could be here to help you guys and hopefully give you some insight into my world. I have a little presentation style. That's just how I do. Um, I'm very scattered brain, so if I don't have my slideshow, I get off track. All right, so whenever I do calls, guys, I always like to make it about you all. So my very first slide, you may have seen something similar to this, but if you have a, a piece of paper and a pen, I want you to really get one out right now if you don't have one, and then I want you to sit back and evaluate yourself. And the only reason I'm making you do this is because this is something that I had to do, and I had to get a gut check with myself to say, am I doing the, the right things in my business to move it forward? So the first one is I want you to kind of go through this and grade yourself. So if you were a teacher grading yourself on a report card, you know, A plus being the best, F minus, you know, you completely flunked it. I want you to just kind of go through those. So, you know, are you doing your personal development 10 to 15 minutes daily? Are you doing your workouts? Are you getting the Shakeology in? Are you sharing your story and your journey? I know that's a big holdup for a lot of people. Um, are you only posting deals with Beachbody 5 to 10% of the time? Are you inviting five people a day to join your network? And are you participating in building up and encouraging your team? And are you getting on team calls, congratulating, you know, helping answer questions and advice? So you guys showing up tonight and being on this call, that's an A plus in your business because you guys are a team and you're cohesive and you guys have the ability to bounce ideas off of situations, you know, that come about in your business that you can grow and learn from one another. So definitely A plus for that. Um, I'm gonna quickly move on because I know we're short on time, but drop that down real quick and then we're gonna grade ourselves on soon in the uh, presentation. All right, so let me get on my little spiel. I became a coach in October of 2013. I became a beach body coach because I was laying in my bed, absolutely miserable. I had, um, let me see, how do I get this? Sorry. I don't know why it's not going. I basically came about into this business. Um, I became a nurse. I am 28 years old. I have an eight-year-old and I have a four-year-old. So you guys can do the math on what it was like for me to go through nursing school with a baby. Um, a lot of people had the opportunity to go to school and to build something with their life without having the responsibility of a family. Some people did, and I can really connect to those kinds of people. But I, at the tender age of 20, had a baby, was going to nursing school, working a full-time job. So to me, I went through struggle. I knew how hard it was to work for peanuts and not see anything at that moment, to only know that after I got through that and the sacrifices that I made, that eventually I would have a career and a flexible, you know, working schedule as a mom. That's what attracted to me to nursing. So the way I compare that to my business is 
um, and I'll get to that, is pretty much a lot of what drove me to success in this business. I knew what it was like to struggle. So I want you guys to think of a moment in your life when you were just kind of kicked to the curb, you didn't really know what you were doing, you were given something and you're like, figure this out. And you didn't really know if, you know, the work you were going to put in was going to have a good outcome, but you just believed and treat that like how you do with your beach body business. Um, I was concentrating on working all the time. Now that I had this newfound career, I had bought a house. I decided to not go on a family vacation. Um, I was raised by my grandparents, pretty much had a very hard childhood. And my grandfather helped me raise my son during nursing school. They all went on a vacation. And while he was skiing, he had a massive heart attack at 67. Not only that, but he died in front of my six-year-old son. That was his hero. So if you can imagine the heartbreak um, of not as a mom, not knowing where your son is, it, it, it traumatized me and it killed my family. And looking back now, I just, I cannot tell you guys, if you know somebody has gone through depression, I used to kind of make fun of it. I thought it wasn't real, but I was in a state of depression. I thought that my worth on this earth was not even important to the point that I figured that I was better off dead than my kids to have me as a mom. That's how much I struggled inside. And, and before I saw anything about Beachbody, I had gone through a little bit of a transformation. I knew that, that lifestyle and I got a friend request from a little blonde girl and I was like, I'm just gonna put it out there. I don't have a, a filter, but I was like, wow, she's really ballsy, you know, kind of putting herself out there with working out and drinking some shake. And I didn't really know what was going on with everything. And when I, the team cup was a flyer of just happy people and it looked like they were a part of something. And I remember laying in my bed and I was like, I need to make a decision. I'm either going to destroy my life, my marriage, lose my job, my kids, everything that I knew because I couldn't get over the grieving part. I was refusing to get help or Something inside me says, why don't I just reach out to this girl and see what this is about? I got signed up. I didn't know anything about Shanti. I had never done T25 or Shakeology. I didn't know what Success Club was. I didn't know what an Emerald Coach was. I didn't know what Star Diamond was. I didn't know what any of that stuff was. But I knew that I was so passionate about prevention, and I didn't want another family to go through what I did. And a coping mechanism for me was to help people. And so I used that. I said, why don't we do something together? This would be great. And I was happy again to invite them. My first month in my business, I hit Success Club 32. I went Emerald in three days, and I went Diamond in 23 days, Star Diamond within six months of my business. Now, what does that mean? That's a big, shiny thing. I wasn't a leader at that point. So if in your mind, if you're looking back at your business, if you're like, how do these people get to this point? What are they doing? How are they doing? I can tell you I grew really fast and then I failed because I didn't have a system in place because I was working a job. I had kids and I love the business. So all my focused time was all scattered and I'm going to get into my schedule and my brain. It might actually disturb you a little bit, but hopefully it will get you guys going on a schedule. But right now, what I want you guys to think about is make your focus on adding value to people's lives. When I talk with conviction and I really put into it and just telling people, you know, I want to help you. I want to help you guys. If you guys need help, whatever you're struggling with, message me. I'm telling you, I will give you tips if I can offer them to you. You know, and how are you adding to your network and your team? You just want to constantly be adding and growing those seedlings with multiple people and letting them mature over time by shining water and light. I know it's a silly analogy, but if you always constantly put the stuff on just one person all the time or just one set niche all the time, eventually it'll die over time. So just some tips that I have for you um, when you're going through with where should my focus be? It needs to be on you and how you can add value, solve problems for people, and help them get over whatever current situation they were. My coach had no idea that she actually saved my life. And knowing her knowing that, 
it's a, it's a, it's a big responsibility on her because she knows how much this business means to me and she never wants to fail me. So you never know who's watching you guys and you never know who needs you, but it takes you putting yourself out there and being who you, you are and taking Beachbody as your vessel, but your voice on social media, because you will attract those perfect people into your business. Promise. All right, let me go to my next slide. So some things that I always think about in my business is building trust, right? We want to build these trusting relationships. So I always think about, I'm always on stage. Remember how I told you I was a real negative person in the past? And I made these really deep and dark posts. So I want you to, I want you to think about that. If you are somebody who comes into the business and you kind of work it and then you back off and then you come back and you're on and off and you're not consistent, that's when you need to sit down with yourself and say, okay, I need to make a schedule because if I don't show up for my business, if I'm not leading by example every day, People are going to lose trust in you. As a leader, I committed to this business. So no matter what life throws at me, whether it's a curveball, I have to be honest, genuine, and I always have to plan. My success partner is also one of my diamond coaches. Her name's Bianca O'Brien. I delegate. We delegate a lot to each other. So if we can't do something, that's how we've made it work, both as working nurses in our business. So if you have a really good friend in this business or a success partner, don't be afraid to offer help to one another. Delegate. If you know something's coming up or an event, um, you know, plan out your days. We sit down with our calendars every single month to say, when is our challenge groups? When are we planning a business opportunity call? When are we planning a coach basics, an Emerald to Push Diamond group? We do that every single month. And we have to make sure that whatever we're committing to, that we're showing up. So if that means we're using, I know we can't use them anymore, but we were using a lot of third-party scheduling, but we would take turns on posting and helping each other with the groups. That is, was a lifesaver for me in this business. So if you think about it, do you guys have Maybe those customers that have kind of fell through the cracks where you maybe missed catching up with them before their Shakeology sent out or you get a really angry customer. I don't know if you guys have had any, but I have in my business. And that is the worst thing that you can do. So you always want to be aware of your surroundings. And now that I missed a Shakeology shipment go out, I now have a system that as soon as somebody orders a challenge pack, their name gets written down on when I'm going to follow up with them, which is in two weeks the date and I send them a courtesy message and I say, Hey, just wanted to let you know, you are almost 30 days into your free subscription. If you'd like to extend it, you are signed, you can extend it or we can cancel it. Let's also talk about your Shakeology. Depending on what you're doing in your business, you can always offer the discount to them and use them as a backup discount coach. If you're trying to build rank um, or you can just tell them, you know, if you, if you're not interested in offering that to them, Talk to them about switching their flavors. People love that because they see that you care and that you're taking time out of your day to follow up with them and build that trust. It's the people that you miss up one little thing and then it's poof, it's gone. It's really hard to get them back. So you always want to be two steps ahead of your people. All right. I don't mind doing that. All right. So that report card real quick, guys, before I go into my scheduling, um, identify your strong areas and write down how you can improve even more. Um, identify your weak areas and then write down a plan of action. You always hear that plan of action. So if you know deep down in, inside, if, you know, if you're somebody who's like, I really need to get better with my eating. I really need to get better with my fitness. I sometimes do personal development, but I don't always do it. I sometimes am consistent with checking in on my challengers. I am sometimes consistent about inviting into the business opportunity. Get consistent and all you have to do is follow those three vital behaviors. Um, you know, the vital behaviors, they don't rely on skill. It's just a matter of you doing it and being honest with yourself. I had to do this to really vamp up my business. I couldn't make the excuse of, if I only had more time, I could do this. 
I went part-time in July of last year. I'm still working full-time hours. I am trying to go PRN at my job and my boss is ignoring me. Today, she would not answer my phone calls because they all know it's coming. They know how much I love Beachbody. But at one point when I do go PRN, I'm gonna have this extra time. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? Because I've scheduled my life around nursing and everything else. So if you feel like you need more time, you may not need more time. You just have to get better with your time and what you're willing to sacrifice. This is my power hour sheet. It is the bomb.com. And if you guys want it, let me know because it is amazing. I do this every single day. So Instagram is my lead generator. Um, you guys, we always tell you to pick two social media based. Instagram is my friend. Um, and then my personal Facebook. So Instagram, I can find, I'm like a professional stalker. I feel like I can find some girls that I'm like, Oh, I kind of like her page and what she's doing. I write their screenings down on a piece of paper and then I start following them for a week and I comment and I like, you know, and it's real quick. It's real quick. Oh my gosh. I love this picture. You know, that's one person. Oh my gosh. Your kids are so cute. That's another picture. Oh my gosh. Your transformation is amazing. What did you do? That's another one. So then I've found three new friends. I've formed the conversations. After time of doing that, I can go back in my follow-up list when I'm ready to invite people to my challenge group. I can go back to the people I was stalking two months before, <laughs> and I can follow up with them and have a conversation with them. Um, and there's a system on Instagram where you can make a picture of what it could be, a picture of your keyboard. And instead of posting it to your Instagram, you would hit direct, and then their screen name, and that's how you can talk to them in a conversation. Or if you've formed a conversation publicly on Instagram, you can always say, I would love to talk to you and connect to you more. What's the best way of talking to you? So you can do that through, I sometimes talk to people through email or Facebook. I bump them over to my Facebook Messenger. So there's ways around that if you use Instagram. If you have your like page, you guys can talk to them through Messenger there, right? So it's the same, it's the same kind of concept. And then I'm always asking people about the coaching opportunity. Usually the people I'm asking about the coaching opportunity are girls that I'm noticing in my challenge group. So every month I have a challenge group. I have never not had a challenge group since I've started this business. So that is imperative. When I hear some coaches that don't run a challenge group every month, I like my head is like, how do they survive? What do they do? How do they have people? How are they helping them get transformations? Because those are your future coaches and they're, the best coaches, I feel like, because they know the business and they're comfortable and they're confident. I love those. But then you have people like me who had never done T25 and Shakeology and come out of the gates flying. So you have all different types of people. It's just connecting them to their why. I follow my three vital behaviors. Um, and then expose and grow. These are just every single day, this is what I do. So I'm going to talk to you guys right now. Tomorrow I work a 12 hour shift, right? I wake up at five, I have my E&E, &E. I come downstairs and I work out. I work out and I hate my life the entire time. Afterwards, I'm like, whew, I'm ready. I run upstairs, I make my Shakeology. I take a shower, when I'm in the shower, guess what's playing? The little phone with the personal development. It stays on me the entire time. By the time I brush my teeth, I'm doing my makeup, I'm getting ready, I'm getting my kids ready for the day. I'm out the door. By the time I'm at report, I'm having my mid-morning snack. And then maybe I'm checking in. When I'm at work, when I, I make a lot of bathroom breaks, so that's when I will quickly message people back and different things and whatnot. I go through my day and I survive the best I can when I'm working. When I come home, I schedule my calls on days that I'm not working. On days that I am not working at the hospital, here's my day. I may sleep in until 6 or 7. Let's be real. It's very hard waking up at 5 a.m. every morning. I commend those who do it. I love you. I wish I had your energy. <laughs> but I get up. I do the same thing. But I check into my online office. I get involved. I connect. I plug into the calls that I need to. If I miss the national wake-up call, then I listen to the recording. When I'm doing laundry, which is Wednesdays, I have my headphones on and I'm listening to my personal development as I'm folding clothes. 
when in the mornings, now that it's warmer, when I want to take, I drop my oldest son off at school. When we come home, I let my youngest play outside on the front, why I sit on the front porch and I answer messages. So again, it's not having more time, it's just using time to the best of your ability, okay? I share that, I share a lot of my life, and people are like, all right, if you can do this, I think I can do this. Attraction marketing is my friend, um, and I have people come to me, yes, I gotta go out to them, but a lot of times by sharing, being who I am, I'm humble, I cuss, I am not your typical, I don't know, I'm just crazy. Like everybody knows that about me. I'm the life of the party and I want everybody to feel good and feel connected and part of a team. And I make that known within my team. Um, finally, this is my brain. <laughs> I have a whiteboard. I have my team's goals. So if you guys are at the stage where you're building a team, Set goals for your team. Mine is for to have 10 coaches hit Success Club every month. That's my 2014 and 2015 coaches. I have all of the people down when they're on Success Club. I have my Diamond Push Girls. I have my Emerald Push Girls. And I have a book for my challengers. I have a book for my customers. I have another journal for, you know, things like recipes that I want to try and see how it goes. My family, we have a big board of all the dates that needs to happen so we can plan. And then my calendar, it's color coded so I know. So this is gonna sound insane, but I probably will schedule when I have to pee during the day. It's so, isn't that silly? But that's what it took for me to get to this point. I am pushing for big goals guys right now and it's happening and I'm telling you, I went to the new leadership conference in LA and I learned about, you know, the, the first week what I do is I recruit challengers for Success Club, right? I hit Success Club 10, then I can week two focus on my team. Week three, I can make sure I'm setting up a business opportunity call and week four, I can have a five day sneak peek. If that overwhelms you, Go to your upline, because I'm sure she's doing the same thing, and that's her responsibility right now to help you until you get into a groove with things. So lean on her. You know, so many people are like, oh, well, I don't want to bother my upline. I, you know, I don't want to bug them. They're busy, different things like that. Your upline's there for a reason. It's, it's their responsibility to guide you and, and get you off the ground so that you can confidently do this one day, okay? Um, so don't be afraid to reach out to them. And then scheduling things around your life. Make Beach Body, take that power hour, insert it into your life of where it needs to be and just go with it. So the people that I invested in that really helped me with this was Amy Silverman. And when she recommended the Shalene Push, that was a really good personal development for at that time. I also followed Scotty Hobbs because I know that he started this business, um, you know, working all these crazy hours and night shifts and different things like that and he built his business. And then of course, Melanie. You know Melanie has systems galore. So when you guys are like at a point where you're like, I don't, I don't know where to go, I don't, I don't even know where to start, she has systems already in place. Um, how much time do we have? Sorry, Kathleen, I'm going over. Okay. The thing about recruiting is everything that I just talked about with sharing my life, sharing who I am, and I'm honest with people, this business is not easy in the beginning, but you have to find a foundation and you have to build from that before you can start building the house and starting to decorate it. You can't have a house built if the foundation is cracked. So it starts again with the three vital behaviors. If you're working out, take a selfie. If you guys don't like selfies, Brand yourself. That is what Beachbody is about. They don't want the shake girl. They don't want the P90X girl. They want you. They want Jen. They want Kelly. They want Terry, Julie, Sarah, Katie. Who else we have? Jem, Deb, Nadine, Mia, Shannon, Kathleen. They want you guys. They want, they want your personality and they want your flair to what you can offer them. So when you're recruiting and you're posting, you've worked out, right? What solutions, what solutions can you offer to your niche? 
well, my niche is busy nurses and busy moms. So I'm going to put posts out there that are going to address their objections. I have no problem saying, guess what? I just worked a 13 hour shift. I haven't sat all day, but here I am doing my workout in the basement. How am I spending time with my kids? They're in the background doing it with me. Okay. So make it to where you are not giving yourself excuses and you're addressing that and you're showcasing that in your post. Um, if you are doing a Shakeology, you know, I did a post with holding my Shakeology and I had my premier coach hat and I'm like, I feel so retarded right now. I haven't done one of these in so long, but that post resonated to my coaches because they said the way that you worded the value of Shakeology and how you apply it to your life, I would never be able to think of something like that. But it really was, it wasn't about the Shakeology. It was about what I was getting every single day to make sure that I was living a healthier life. Most people who know my story know how passionate I am about health. And I'm going to tell you guys my little preteen spiel. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer in America. It killed my grandfather at 67 with no health issues, didn't drink, didn't smoke, was not overweight. It killed him instantly. There was no second chance for him. He works his butt off for his family. He passed down so many lessons to me. He saved my life and he got me where I'm at now. So if you think that I am afraid to, you know, if, I, if I'm afraid to not share what it means to be in good health, I'm not afraid. So it connects to your why when you're recruiting. You're putting yourself out there. You're being fearless. And honestly, this business is about confidence. So if you are lacking in confidence, you need to really have a come to Jesus moment with yourself and find out how you can overcome those obstacles. Because I am so proud to sit here and look at all of you and know that you are offering a piece of the same life that I'm living to this world. You are changing lives. Like that's huge. Our, our health system is in, is in an epidemic right now. People are paying for medicine. That's just, making them sicker until they just eventually die off. Like how awesome is that? You guys are part of that. And it starts with you. So if there's anything that I can tell you is just go into this, own it, find out who your niche is and you speak to them and you speak to them with conviction. Same way I'm doing for you because there is somebody out there who needs you. My coach saved my life. She saved my family's life. She gave me, my, my kids got a mom back that was happy and could do this. And if, if anybody out there needs to hear this, then I'm going to keep preaching until I find those people. And you guys need to do the same thing. So find a system, get right with your calendars, say, okay, I got Monday through Sunday. What do I have going on? I'm going to make, make a list, put it down. Oh. I need beach body right here, insert, thank you. This is what I'm gonna work out. This is what I'm gonna meal prep, ask for help. My husband was my biggest hater. Jen and Kathleen got to meet Bo in Cancun. It took LA, it took almost 18 months to get my husband on board, so I was doing this by myself. But make sure you schedule time and make sure that you're spending time with your family as well. Um, and I promise you guys, now from sharing this mission that I was kind of skeptical about at first, it's now giving my family and myself a better life financially, spiritually, and physically. So that's all I have for you. If you have any questions, let me know. That was great. Thank you so much, Kristen. Yeah. What an inspiration. I love hearing your story. Um, what Do you guys have questions that you want to start with? Who has a question? Shannon has a question. <laughs> Wait, let me, let me unmute you. Go. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, it's definitely very needed. Uh, my question is, who, how do you keep track? Like, that's what I'm struggling with. Like, I seriously have a really messed up system of just scrolling through my friends list and, oh, who haven't I spoken to in a while? And I know so many people I'm missing because I have over a thousand friends and it's just impossible <laughs> to, to um, keep up. So are you using like any system? Mm -hmm. to so um, how many people are you inviting a day? Like, do you have an, I only invite five people a day. 
I can run like an inviting spree. I may not do five a day, but I definitely do a lot in one week. Okay. So it depends on, so have you formed the relationship first? For the majority, yeah. Okay. So these Maybe are in the like, beginning, I didn't do that, but now I have relationships and, you know. That you've built. Okay. Yeah. So you invite them, and then I put people on a watch list. I know that sounds, I told you I'm a professional Facebook stalker. They go on a watch list. You know how you can star them to make them um, pop up in your posts? So if there's somebody that you really want, like you're visualizing, you really want them to join that challenge group or you really want them to be a coach, I am persistent. I don't give up. Like I have people that I'm like, I'm going to get her and I'll find a way. I put them on a watch list. And then I write them down on my paper. For, so like the first week of March, I have a set number of people that I invited. They go on the watch list, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, and I follow their posts. So I'm still liking and I'm commenting and I'm, I'm making sure that I'm remembering to engage with them. So yes, you break it up into weeks. My customer, um, my customer log book that you saw, that's just for my customers or my challengers or people that I've talked to. So you should see some of the names in my book. I have like, I don't know, silly sassy memes and all kinds of stuff. But that's what I do. Break it up into weeks, put the dates by them. And so do you use, do you use a notebook? You don't use any like specific I do. program? I am so retarded with the computer. I know some people, Kendra, you know who's awesome? Kendra Fletcher. That girl has Excel sheets and all kinds of stuff. I talked to her at leadership. I was like, I can't keep up with that. I've got to write it down. So find what works for you. Um, okay. People are like, oh, well, I use my Facebook to track people. I'm like, really? Because you know how many messages I have on Facebook? It's not it's not a good system. So either I would suggest breaking it up in a paper and a book, old school style, or making an Excel sheet. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I think somebody had a question. Um, aw. Thank you, Mia. Thank you, Jen and Shannon. Um, I star people. I, I wonder if I can go into a share screen. You go up and you can make them to where you can collect or you can set on the settings. If you click on a person on Facebook, you can star them. So if it's somebody that you want to follow, like my mom, like I always want to see what she's doing because she's crazy and I got to keep track of her. So there's a way that you can do it. Um, I will post, I'll give Kathleen the instructions on how to do it because I, I can't tell you word for word on how to do it, but there is a way that you can star them and then you can unstar them and put them into a friends list. And do you guys use Facebook list? Like you have your high school people and people you don't really want to talk to. I have that list too. <laughs> I didn't know about the star thing either. I knew about the lists, but yeah, I'm out. I'm interested to hear what that means. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I'm excited about your, I love the Ada, the, the rating thing you did in the beginning. I know you went through that quickly, but that was, I was trying to write that down really fast because those are such great yeah. points. Um, and your, your um, power hour thing was awesome. Yeah. That thing was awesome. I took a lot of notes. Um, <laughs> Okay, but back to you guys. Who else has questions? Anybody else have a question for Kristen? It's like the one thing you're struggling most with right now in your business. I know time management's a big one. That one you guys will just have to really sit down and have a kumbaya with yourself and say, you know what? I, this is my business. I got to do it. I got to figure out a system to work for me. There's nobody that can tell you what to do. That's why I made you guys do that self-assessment. I hate when people preach and tell me, you need to do this. You need to do that. I'm letting you guys see what you need to work on um, because you guys can do it. We all do it. There's people that, there's orthodontists that do this business. There's, there's ways, there's shortcuts. You just got to find them. And you got to practice and implement what you learn to figure it out, right? Oh. I think you also um, hit the nail on the head when you were talking about confidence I feel like confidence is so key I used to be in my own little shell too scared to like even post in a challenge group when I first started and like this business definitely helped me grow as a person I never anticipated on being a leader now I have my own team who's rocking it and um, and it all started when I started becoming confident mm -hmm. <laughs> and being confident as a leader and I feel like that was such a huge game changer for me in my business yeah it, I mean it is and I don't know if you guys do the color 
It's code test, but I'm definitely a red, if you couldn't tell. My whole team is blues, like shy, sweet, little, like I love them. I, I love them. Sometimes they hate me, but you know, you got to remember, you guys are not average. You are above. You are like elite on your health and doing stuff that most people wouldn't do. Most people would not wake up at five in the morning to drink e and &E and work out and work a business that pays less, you know, what, 40 bucks commission for a challenge pack one person. And you're so like, I got to get those points. I got to get that $40. That's not what you're thinking about though you're thinking about the people that you want to help and want to change and over time it grows so think about that if you are willing to put yourself out there people are gonna look and say what the heck why she's put she's posting that workout video she's posting a selfie she posted a post on not being confident in her skin and low self-esteem and those are things that I can relate to and she's willing to share how she got over that what built her confidence I will tell you the one thing, and I love that you said how much you love your team, Shannon, because you guys, as you grow, love your challengers, love your team. They are so important. At Super Sunday, I had 10 local coaches with me. I went to the DC council. My DC council member was like, oh, Kristen, you can sit in VIP. You're part of the council. We have a chair with your, your name and it's reserved. And I said, no, I'm sitting right here with my team in the back row, the only three star diamond in the room. And I'm in the back because mm -hmm. I'm sitting with my team because they're equal to me. And I love, I love their passion and what they've add to this, to this mission with me. So think about that. Keep adding value, make your team feel as important as they are because they are They're who make you, your challengers make you, your customers make you. The new relationships that you make, they make you. So, and I love you guys. You guys are all my new friends now. I love you, Jen. I didn't get to hang out with you much. <laughs> love you, girl. You too, Kathleen. We're in Cancun, but <laughs> y'all are coming on the cruise next year, right? We're going to do the Cupid Shuffle and throw down. You're going to remember me saying that. I'm telling you. I'll be there. I didn't make it off the waiting list to get to Cancun, but I'll be there next year. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, do you have any other questions? Oh, well, thank you so, so much. It You're was welcome. so great for you to take time to talk to us. Absolutely. Make sure you friend me on Facebook. And um, if you guys need any help, I've got Google Docs galore. My team is really good about making systems. I have a crazy Brazilian girl who translates everything into Portuguese in the 21 day fix. I mean, it's to that level. So you can't get something from me. You can probably get something from them. And Bianca and I, we really wanted to create something different in a culture of sharing and our leaders are the same way and they're growing that way. So if you need anything, seriously, don't hesitate. Cause like I said, I want more of you so we can get this country up in shape and going. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Kristen. We really Bye, Kristen. You. You're welcome. Bye, girls. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the next thing we wanted to do was talk about um, Super Saturday. So I will, when Kristen gets me those things, I think it would be really cool in uh, Inspiration Nation. Maybe we could even do like the little um, ratings that she talked about, maybe just a little check-in if anybody's willing to be honest about where they are with some of that stuff, maybe we could do a check-in. But but anyway, I just wanted to move on to respect everybody's time. So we have a couple people that we're going to share their takeaways from Super Saturday or Super Sunday or where whatever it was where you were. Um, so do any of you want to go first who were there um, this past weekend? I will. Awesome. <laughs> Get it over with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're an easy audience. <laughs> um, so I was in Edison, New Jersey. And um, first I want to say, I'm sorry, just two seconds. Yeah, How yeah. proud I am of Katie because she actually went to a Super Saturday not knowing a single person. So I think that takes a lot of guts and courage. So go girl. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Um, so it's funny, the last person to speak pretty much is what I'm going to talk about first here. And 
there was a woman who had us do a visualization exercise. And, um, you know, I can't tell you exactly how she did it. I'm not going to give you, a, you know, a blow by blow, but um, she did tell everyone to sit straight, put your feet on the floor, close your eyes, take a deep breath, roll your shoulders back and down. And um, then she kind of had us just, she asked us some questions and how to start thinking about things. And um, it got to the point where I was thinking of something that was really impactful. And I wish that I could remember all those questions because then, you know, I could easily get to that place again. Um, but what I remember most is I was almost in tears because um, my husband hates his job and he's been working his side business for a while and he wants to quit his job and do that. And he can't because we can't afford it. And so what I was visualizing is him being able to quit his job and how happy he would be and how improved our lives would be. So that exercise to me, I think doing it on a regular basis would, would really help. Um, and then um, just real quick, um, and this is totally unrelated, something that somebody else mentioned there was when you're building your team, have your new coaches lay out their goals, their short-term and their long-term goals, and share it with, you know, have, have your new coach share it with you so that you can, you know, know how to focus and know how to um, talk to them and whatever. I thought that was really smart. I hadn't thought about that. So that's it. That sounds really powerful, the visualization piece. Yeah, it was. I didn't think it was going to be, and then I settled into it, and, and it really was. Very cool. Um, yeah, and certainly getting, yeah, I think sometimes we make assumptions about what people's goals are, what direction they want to go, or whatever. But yeah, certainly talking with people about that, I think, makes a lot of sense. Um, so I think, did you guys have a live workout, Katie? We did. Did you they get in San Max 30? Oh, nice. My, um, my, well, you know my condition, right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> my pregnant self did not do it. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> pregnant self. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fun. When are you due? October 18th. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Yep. Next, next call, we'll expect you to be able to help us all do some visualization. <laughs> I will do some research for you. <laughs> that would be very cool. Yeah. Um, okay, super. Who wants to go next? Some, a takeaway part to you. Okay, awesome, Julie. Go for it. Go for it. Um, I have a lot here, so I might go through just quickly so everybody else can share too. Um, but uh, Cam had mentioned uh, the book You're a Badass a couple of times as some, a personal development good book to look at, so I wrote that down. Um, You're a Badass is the name of that again. Um, and another takeaway was to not have excuses as to why you can't do things, um, why you can't get to things, that we're all busy. Um, can't use that excuse. Um, so that kind of got me thinking into things. And, and they had said to try to schedule your business hours. And Kathleen, you'd done that recently saying, you know, I'm going to be on from this time to this time. And then I'll be on later from this time to this time to help you be more organized. And I thought that was really good to set your business hours, as they call them. Um, finding your target audience. Um, who are those people that you are more like and who you want to reach out to? So um, someone had said, so if you're a, a 60 year old woman, you know, don't post bikini, bikini pictures and you know, that's just not going to work for you. Um, make sure you have the right target audience and then, uh, doing posts with emotions was another thing, um, that that would really hit deep with people is if you post, you know, with your emotions. So those were the kind of key points I got. 
Awesome. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that book too. I, I um, feel like I maybe heard it once before, but I've never, I didn't actually get it yet. So I'm curious. Did, has anybody read that one? No? Maybe we'll do that one next in maybe some kind of book club or something. It sounds really good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those are some great takeaways. Thanks, Julie. Mm -hmm. All right, who else wants to say something? I just have a couple of things from the Dallas Super Sunday thing, Sunday event. Great. Um, I think what, one of the things that stood out to me was how um, some the the um, top coaches that were there. Because um, I, I remember last January was my first Super Sunday. And of course, at that point, I had no idea what anything meant when they were having everybody stand up, like for recognition and all that stuff. Um, and so this time when they did it, I was, you know, you start paying attention like, oh, okay, I know what a diamond is. I know what a star diamond is. And then you start to realize, wow, there's just very few star diamonds in the room. And they actually had everyone, because they split it this year, or this time they had been um, having Dallas and Fort Worth combined. But we were just so huge last time, like we couldn't even hardly fit in this massive room. So they split us up, and it was just Dallas. And so it was smaller and kind of more intimate and stuff. But so they had all the anyone um, Star Diamond go up front and share their name and their rank. So, I mean, it was really cool because there were a ton of like one star, two star, three star. And I was like, you know, that's, that's really cool. Like very few, like five and above. But I was like, you know, that's still, you know, an awesome achievement to hit even one star or two star or whatever. So, um, and then just realizing, well, you know, Kathleen's a three star, you know, it's like you see, and then it's because it's like, I, well, I know people now <laughs> that are at these ranks. So I, to me, it was just really cool. Like, this is attainable. This is something that's, that, you know, is in our foreseeable future. And so to me, it just made it more, it kind of opened my eyes to be like, you know, this is not something that's just like, so far out there that there's no way that I could ever do it. That it's like, these people are just like us, just like me. And, you know, if we just continue doing the things that we're doing, that it's, it can happen for us too. And even, um, who was it? Robert Hudgens, one of the founding coaches got up and talked and he, you know, he was talking about how, um, the same thing, like, you know, we're, there's no difference between him and us. The only thing that he has is a lot more time invested that he's been doing this, you know, since um, 2006 or whenever it started. So um, it's just, you know, they're like, we just have more time invested in this than you, the newer coaches. And um, that if we do that, just continue doing what we're doing, that we can attain the same, same type of um, results that they're having. So. And that really spoke to um, a couple of us that were there. So, um, and then just real quickly, there were a couple other quotes that I just thought were good. Was one was work harder on yourself than you do your business, and um, you know, just naturally out of that, you know, will flow out flow the um, positive results. I really like that one. And um, then they also said, if you wait for an opportunity to invite someone, then you never will have the opportunity. So it's just do it, you know, <laughs> like don't think too hard. Don't overthink things. Just invite people. Um, and then they said, uh, you have to get comfortable doing what makes you uncomfortable. So constantly pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and doing things that you wouldn't naturally want to do. Those are the things that are going to really help push you forward and be successful.
Those are great. I love it. I love that. Work harder on yourself than your business. I think that makes yeah. sense. Um, cool. So how many people go, Nadine, when you split it like that? No, it was close to a thousand, I think, um, in January. Wow. So wow. this time I'm, it was probably less than 500. Wow. That's big. Yeah, yeah. it was. I mean, it was, I thought the thousand was like way too much. <laughs> I think we had a thousand in January too, but it was smaller this time. I can't remember, but it's still pretty big. Probably, yeah. probably five or 600, I think. Um, Shannon, did you want to say something? Yeah, I um, just a, a couple of things. I, I feel like my first aha moment, Kathleen, was when you and I were uh, speaking to Alyssa Shoemaker and we were talking about how the first year is really tough. And it's so true. I struggled so much the first year it's ridiculous. And I had to pull myself out many times of wanting to give up and questioning myself and leading right into, I think one of the first things that um, was discussed is somebody said, trust the process. And I wrote that in big letters um, on my notes, trust the process. And I'm telling you guys, trust <laughs> their process by doing the three vital behaviors over time, your business will grow. I am so far ahead of where I was in the very beginning and I always tried, you know, I always like, oh, you know, they're doing something that they're not telling us or whatever. And I'm like, they're, whatever, like making excuses of me not doing the work to get to where I wanted to be basically blaming everybody else but myself. So, um, and the other thing that they kept saying is just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And they kept saying that throughout our Super Saturday. Just do it. Do the three vital behaviors, form relationships, connect with people, invite, do your personal development and do, you know, be the product of the product and you will see your business grow. It's the whole compound effect thing. So, so many takeaways, but I just remember, you know, talking to Alyssa how like, I feel like if we can just get into everybody's brains to get through the first year, then they will see, I, in my opinion, they will see a, a big, a big difference from when they first started. Yeah, it's such a great point. Um, we should, we should name the team, just do it. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. Anybody else want to say something about what they took away? Yeah. Deb, I don't, I'm most afraid of that. Wait, we can't hear you. Um, no. Can anybody hear her? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> if you want to type something in, into the chat. Why can't we hear her? Do you know, Kathleen? I only th I only thought that that would be a problem because I can't mute her. So I thought if I can't mute her, then she probably has no sound. But you, it's not, you must be able to hear us, huh, Deb? Oh, <laughs> if you want to type, do you see a little chat box, a little chat option? No. Ah. Well, maybe in, if you want to put something in Inspiration Nation, if you want to type something in there, I'd love to hear what you want. All right. <laughs> um, Mia, did you want to say anything? Wait. There you go. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, a lot of the same things, but I think the thing that really motivated me is um, just having confidence and just remembering that what we have to offer is a better way of life and a better lifestyle. And the thing that really, really got me is, is not being afraid to share your story. And Kristen was saying that tonight too, and being vulnerable. Um, because I've found when I share my story, that's when people really seem to, you know, be more and more um, susceptible. And I guess Melanie had said something, just that sense of urgency, um, you know, that, that we need to, you know, we need to have that sense of urgency. And, and I think, you know, that just do it thing, that is such a good, and don't quit, don't stop. But even when you don't feel like it, do it. Um, so that really motivated me. And just, you know, just to have the confidence. And I just feel like, you know, if we do the three vital behaviors, which I've really been committing to do, even if we don't see the results, um, that 
instantly that they're going to come around. I guess that's what, you know, that, that, they, that it will work if you're doing it, basically. That's great. Yep. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm not sure who, who's on the phone, but was it somebody that wanted to talk about Super Saturday? Phone person? <laughs> Phone person. <laughs> I don't recognize the number, but that doesn't mean anything because I don't know anybody's number anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry, phone person. <laughs> um. All right. I um. Let's see. I wanted to talk just for a minute. Actually, I I wanted to share a couple of my takeaways too. I had took took notes too. The um. Oh, this was uh, this was something Terry talked about on a call before too about that eat the frog thing that keeps coming up for me because I keep struggling with that. But the thing that you're most scared to do in your day or in your week, you start with that. You don't put that off. And I feel like I needed to hear that again. Um, posting small successes every day about coaching. If you're looking to recruit people and share them consistently over time, I think that that's something that I could personally work on quite a bit. Um, this was a good one. I thought somebody was asking a panel of, um, of the co the elite coaches there, what do you do with the price objection? Um, and one of the coaches said, um, that you, she went right to talking with why they wanted to start in the first place. And I thought that was really good. Cause often I feel like I go to trying to break down the cost or, um, trying to compare it to something else or whatever. But really the, the point is that if they're at, if they have a price objection, often it's because they don't see the value yet and um, and because we haven't helped them see the value either. So I thought that was really good. Um, and let's see. Um, leading by example. Kathleen, can I add, can I add to yeah. that the price objection thing? I'm yeah. sorry. Um, that I think that something that really, really helped me was, um, you know, it's so important to have the conversation of, of, of why, you know, of their why when, when speaking to a potential challenger. Um, because then when you do have that price ejection, you know, is, you know, you can say back to them, is the $160 worth being able to, you know, feel good? Good about yourself or being able to play with your kids and run around or or whatever it is find out their why and use you know can you put a price on you know feeling good and 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 whatever their their why is but is there a price for that yeah that's so true um yeah yeah i love that idea i need to play with that in my head a little bit more too because it's i think that's really key in talking to people um and hits for me on that whole social work psychology stuff, because isn't that kind of the point anyway? Aren't we trying to help them feel better, not sell a product? Um, so anyway, okay, so just to wrap it up here, because we're right at 10 o'clock, um, coming up for May, I'm going to post in the group when some of us um, are going to start groups. And if any of you are starting groups and you want to share also, I'll just get a calendar started so that you can start pointing people to things that you're interested in jumping on board with. and. Um, and then um, there's a couple of push groups coming up that I think some, I think most of you who are, most of you probably know about these things, but if you don't, um, Melanie is starting a diamond push group on May 4th. So that is Monday, Monday, May 4th. And you ha in order to get in that group, you have to have four coaches under you that are active. Um, and if you want more details, if you haven't heard about that and you want more details of it, please ask me or your upline coach and we will be more than happy to help you um, become part of that group if you're interested. And then um, I'm going to do a group for anybody who um, has been through Coach Basics who wants to do the, we're going to read the book GoPro together and we're going to do um, kind of a book club accountability mash group. Um, so if you're interested in that, you're more than welcome to join us. And we're going to start that hopefully on the 1st of May, if everybody gets their books in time. And hopefully that um, that happens. Because um, I've been rereading that book. I read it early on when I started and I've been rereading it. And I just I'm seeing so much value in that book that it seems like it'd be kind of neat to try, um, like having a little 
I don't know, syllabus or a little guideline or something like that from a real true expert who's not a Beachbody expert, but just a, an expert in this business, which I think will be cool. So, um, so if you're interested in that, if you haven't, um, let us know. I did, I have that, I just used the last Coach Basics group and I've just been adding people in that were interested in that group. So you're more than welcome to join us in that as well. Um, those are the coaching groups that are coming up that I know of. And then we'll post the challenge groups coming up as well. So you can point people to those. So anybody have any last questions or anything that you wanted to make sure we talk about or get to tonight? No, no, no. Oh, did you want to say something, Terry? Um, I thought I did. And then I forgot what I wanted to say. Um, oh, are you, I might've missed this. Are you doing a coach basics like for our team at like May 4th or the beginning of May or no? Yes. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Did May 4th. That? No. Okay. I didn't say I have that one too. And I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Okay. Yes. That was all. And this eat our GoPro book club is for anybody. Yep. Anybody can do it. So a lot of the people in there have, as long as you've been through coach basics, I think. Right. It, but okay. any level, because I'm going to be doing it too, because I think there's still my third time through the book, and I'm still like, oh, that's so good. <laughs> Why am yeah, I not doing I, that? <laughs> I love that book. I did, I did read that book from beginning to end, but I do like it, and I, yeah, I would want to read it again. Um, but okay, just checking on that. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, everybody. Oh, and Mia, you just asked a question. Um, I don't know you have to, okay, I will help you with that. No problem. Yes. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Do you have PayPal? Do you have a pay? So Melanie's group, everybody, in case you don't know, has a little buy-in to make it a, you a little bit more accountable. So if you, you pay 20 bucks to get in the group, and then if you go diamond, everybody who goes diamond splits the pot. So it's not, she's not getting paid 20 bucks. She's going to just, I've heard other people try this. I think it's just to have a little bit of fun and incentive and maybe give everybody an extra push. But if you have a pay, do you have a PayPal account, Mia? Um, yeah, my husband has one, but am I just supposed to go in through him and then just somehow go to her? That's where I'm confused because it, it said it didn't recognize her email and I was, but you know me in technology, so. Yeah, I will, I will help you with that. <laughs> okay. <No problem. laughs> I definitely want to do it. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be really cool. She's going to have some amazing speakers and that'll yeah. yeah, be very nice. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. This I mean, this um, type of diamond group is exactly what helped me get to diamond. So, yeah. Well, cool. All right, everybody. Well, have a great night. Thanks for getting on. Thanks. Good to see you. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night, everyone.